These are the horoscopes of each and every rising sign in April of 2023. This month, you're going to be extremely social. You'll really be putting yourself out there, improving your reputation, and you're going to be extremely productive. You'll be getting a lot of work done. During the first week of April, you'll find yourself really tidying up your home, looking after your home life, also bonding with your family members and working on improving your mental health. On the fifth, we have a full moon and you may have a breakup of some sorts. Now, this could be in your love life, but not necessarily. You may have a breakup in your social life or you may end up ending a connection with an acquaintance. So you're going to have some sort of ending in a relationship that you have with someone. But around this time, you're also going to be expanding and growing in your personal life and working towards success. From the 11th to the 12th, you'll find that your achievements are finally being recognized and you're going to accomplish something that you've been waiting a long time to accomplish. So there's going to be a lot of growth here for you. During the middle of the month, it'll be a great time to start a new project. Anything you start around the middle of the month is almost guaranteed to be very successful. And you may find that writing as well as communicating with others should flow very nicely. You may find yourself networking and your relationship with your friends will flow harmoniously. Even though during the middle of the month, writing and communication should flow very nicely, your relationships with others will flow nicely, you may have some self-doubts that you'll have to overcome. On the 19th, you have a solar eclipse in your sign, so you are going to experience tremendous personal growth. You're going to have the most growth of all the signs, and you are going to be propelled towards a brand new chapter of your life. You're going to have the biggest changes of all the signs. This is a very intense transit. You'll also be extremely emotional around the 19th, so watch out for that since you are going to have such a major change in your life. Towards the end of the month, you may have mounting pressure to build up your finances, so you're really going to be hustling to save money. You may have some financial delays or financial issues that you have to sort out, but by the end of the month, you'll have sorted all of that out and your finances will run very nicely as a result of the work that you put in during the end of March. Taurus Risings, this is one of the best months out of the entire year for you to build wealth, so your finances will be flowing very nicely. You're gonna be hustling to secure the bag. You'll be making and saving a lot of money. Your mental health is also going to flourish this month. During the first week of April, you may find yourself working very hard on content and written projects should be flowing very nicely, so you'll find yourself putting a lot of work into anything that you may be writing or any projects that you have. So you're gonna be very productive. You're gonna be working hard towards making this a success. Your social life will run nicely and you may receive a lot of support or helpful advice from your friends. On the fifth, we have a full moon. So you may have some sort of ending when it comes to a health chapter. So perhaps you are going to implement healthier diets or healthier exercise. You're gonna change up your health routine and there may be an ending in the workplace. So some of you may quit your job or some of you may find that you're making major changes in the workplace. During this time, you're also going to be dramatically improving your mental health. During the middle of the month, again, you'll be working on improving your mental and physical health. During the second half of the month is when you can expect financial abundance and your career will flourish. So you can expect a lot of career success. You may have positive new beginnings in your career. Some of you may even get a promotion, perhaps even seek out a new job where you can make a lot more money. But overall, I see that you will have major improvements and advancement in your career during the second half of March. And as a result, your finances will flourish. So expect to save and make more money than you will for the rest of the year. This is the best time out of 2023 for you to make money. On the 19th, you have a solar eclipse in your 12th house, so you may find yourself reinventing your spirituality, becoming more in touch with your spirituality, more in touch with your intuition. You may be very psychic around this time and you'll have mental health breakthroughs. Dealing with your mental health may be challenging and difficult around this time, but you are going to work through it then. During the last week of March, you are going to be the main character, you are going to be attracting the spotlight and your reputation is going to improve but there may be some drastic changes in your career, either positive or negative. But again, your career and finances will be expanding and overall this will be a really great month for you and you are going to be attracting the spotlight and you are finally going to gain recognition for your achievements. Cancer Risings, during the first week of April, you are going to be extremely productive. You are going to be getting a lot of work done. You're going to be very much on the go and you're going to be getting a lot of tasks and shit out of the way. Some of you may be thinking about your educational plans and putting that into focus. And some of you may also be planning a trip or you may be planning to travel around this time. School will be going very well. You can expect to get very good grades. On the fifth, we have a full moon. So you may even plan on relocating or you may be planning on changing up your home living environment. So there may be changes in your living situation or difficulties with family members around the fifth. During the first half of March, your career will be expanding and some of you may gain a promotion, you may find a better job, or you'll definitely receive a lot of recognition for your career achievements. So things in your career will be flowing beautifully. During the middle of the month, your finances should be flowing very nicely and you may have a huge breakthrough in your mental health. So if you've been struggling with mental health previously, you'll find that a lot of your anxiety and stress will be lifted. And then you may also be making plans around education or travel. Around the 19th, you are affected by a solar eclipse in your 10th house of career. So you may have a major brand new positive beginning in your career. It may be a bit unsettling, but you can expect a lot of expansion and career growth around this time. And again, things are going to be shaken up in your career, but in a positive way. There will be a lot of forward movement, trajectory, and momentum in your career. So this will be an amazing time for your career success. 
During the second half of the month, you may have to put a larger focus on your finances. So you may find that you can't spend as much time going out with friends. You'll have to budget a lot more. During the end of the month, there may be some issues with your friendships or your social life, and there may be some delays when it comes to being very social or going out with your friends, or there may be some miscommunication. So watch out for your relationships with your friends. Gemini Risings, during the first week of April, you are going to be extremely dedicated towards building up your finances and building up your career success. And this dedication and hard work is really going to pay off. So you may be budgeting, you may be putting saving practices into place, you'll be working extremely hard, but you'll find that your career will flourish and you are going to get very great results when it comes to the money that you were able to save and career advancement. On the fifth, we have a full moon, so you may have an ending when it comes to a relationship that you have with someone. There may be some closure when it comes to your romantic life, and you'll find that there may be an ending to a creative project. There are going to be major changes in your love life and your creative endeavors, and some of you may have a breakup, but that could extend to your social life as well. It doesn't have to be a romantic interest. Around the middle of the month, there should be a lot of growth and expansion when it comes to your social life. You may be making new friends, but you'll find that you'll be very social, very extroverted. You may be forming very useful or beneficial connections connections with others. You may be going out a lot, so overall your social life should be a lot of fun. You're also going to be attracting a lot of attention near the middle to the end of the month. You'll be attracting a lot of attention. You'll be more charismatic, popular, social, extroverted, and overall you're going to be extremely attractive. It'll be an amazing time to manifest things into existence and to accomplish anything that you want. Some of you may also attract a really great new beginning when it comes to your educational plans or your education. So things at school should be flowing very well middle of the month. And some of you may even plan to travel. Travel should go very well middle of the month. Around the 14th and the 15th, however, you may find yourself really grinding when it comes to your career. So you may not have as much time during that time period for having fun and going out. On the 19th, you have a solar eclipse in your 11th house of friendships. So you're gonna find that you may have a huge new beginning when it comes to your friendships and social networks. You will likely be attracting a lot of attention. You may completely change the way you handle social media, the way in which you grow on social media and the way in which you handle your social life. During the end of the month, you may find that your educational plans or travel plans could be causing you a little bit of anxiety and you may feel a little bit isolated around this time but you are going to be hustling and grinding and that's going to pay off. Leo Risings, you're finally going to get something that you've been working extremely hard for over the past couple of months this month and you may also have amazing news around travel or your educational plans. During the first week of April, you are going to be very determined to overcome any mental health issues you may have. So you'll be letting go of a lot of mental health issues that have been plaguing you over the past three months. You may also find yourself really hustling to secure the bag and dealing with your finances, which will lead to very beneficial financial implications. The first week of April is going to be very beneficial when it comes to your mental health and your finances. On the fifth, you have a new moon in your third house. So you may finally be ending a work project or you may finally finish some sort of written project that you've been working on recently. During the first half of April, you may also let go of some sort of goal that you had that you no longer want to pursue. During the first half of March, you're also going to be expanding your knowledge. So you may be reading a lot, you may be learning. So you're becoming a lot more intelligent and wise. Also educational plans should run very nicely. School should be going very well. This is a great time to plan a trip. So if you are traveling, this is a great time for your travels or to plan something around travel. From the 11th to the end of the month, you will have Venus in your 11th house. So you'll find yourself being very social and extroverted in March. You'll find that your social life will flow very nicely. You may be forming brand new connections in your friendships. You may be networking a lot. You may be forming very useful networks that will help you get ahead in life. You'll have a huge boost in your reputation and this may extend to you being able to succeed in your career as well because you're gaining a lot of recognition and notoriety. But overall, you're becoming more popular. Your reputation is receiving a huge boost and your friendships should be flowing very nicely. You may be making new friends and again, you'll be very social and you may find yourself really going out a lot with your friends. During the second half of March, you may also find that you have a very close bond with your significant other. So you may find that you're forming a very deep, passionate bond with your romantic interest or your partner and you'll find that your close ties with your friends should also be becoming deeper as well. On the 19th, you have a solar eclipse in your ninth house. So you may find that you're making major new plans around your education, or you may be making major new plans around travel. Around the 19th, you'll also be receiving a lot more knowledge. You're becoming a lot more wise and intelligent. So you'll be learning a great deal of information. This will be a very eye-opening time and you'll have major revelations about your life. You are going to figure out many truths and realize what's actually going on in your life. 
During the second half of the month, there may be someone close to you, whether this is a friend, a relative, or a significant other who could be causing some problems or trouble in your life, who may be causing you a bit of a headache. There's also going to be a very significant focus on your career during the second half of the month, so you'll find yourself really grinding, really working hard to secure the bag. During the last week of the month, you do have Mercury retrograde in your 10th house of career, so this may bring some delays or miscommunication when it comes to your career, so you may find yourself having to work harder in order to settle things in your career. Things may not necessarily move smoothly, but I do see that you'll be hustling in your career, which will lead to career success in the months to come. Virgo Risings, this is going to be one of the best months out of the entire year for financial and career success. During the first week of the month, you are going to be extremely aggressive. You'll be aggressively going after your goals and making shit happen. You'll put a lot of effort into being productive and overcoming challenges and really getting your work done. And by the end of the first week of April, you'll find that you have accomplished a lot that may have been bothering you before. You'll have a lot of work out of the way. During the first half of March, you'll also have very good news when it comes to your social life, your social connections. You'll be putting a lot of effort into networking and forming friendships or looking after your friendships. So your social life should be running very nicely or you may expand your social network. You may find that a romantic partner or a friend is very supportive of you is very helpful and they're forming a deeper bond with you. On the fifth, you have a full moon in your second house of finances, so there may be an ending to a chapter in your finances. So you may be paying off a debt or you may be ending a certain way in which you make money, but there may be some closure around your finances. During the first half of the month, you'll also find that you're placing a very large emphasis on investing and perhaps trying to find another way to make money. During the middle of the month, you are going to have extreme opportunities for growth in your finances. This is going to be one of the best times out of 2023 for your finances you may find a new stream of revenue you may find a new way to make money either way your finances are going to be flourishing you are going to be building up your wealth so your career may be flowing very nicely which can mean that you are making more money as a result of doing well at your job or your investments could be going very nicely but either way you are going to have an extreme boost in your finances during the middle of the month things in the workplace should be flowing very nicely so you'll find yourself forming very positive beneficial and harmonious relationships with your co-workers with your bosses they may be very helpful towards you and you may have new opportunities in your career as well. So again, there will be a lot of opportunities for career growth or gaining a lot of recognition for your career achievements. On the 19th, you'll have a solar eclipse in your eighth house of finances and investments. So you may find a beautiful brand new opportunity to make a lot of money. Again, your finances will be flowing very nicely around this time and your investments should be going very well. But some of you may take on a new investment venture and anything that you do investment wise or financial wise around this time around the 19th is bound to be successful you may also find yourself finally paying off debt so that you can have a brand new beginning in your finances end of the month you may be making major educational plans if you are still in school or some of you may be making major travel plans and you may have a very large focus on a new trip that you want to partake in Libra Risings, a relationship may be getting very serious. You may be forming a very deep bond in your romantic life. There will be a lot of extreme things happening in your romantic life. So there will be a huge emphasis on your love life this month. Also, you may have new ways to perhaps pursue travel or pursue a trip, or you may have new educational plans on the horizon. During the first week, you are going to be grinding in your career and you are going to be getting a lot of work done. So you are going to be aggressively pursuing your work in your career. And by the end of the week of the first month in April, you'll have gotten a lot of work done. In the beginning of the month, you'll also be getting along very well with your coworkers, your bosses. So things in the workplace should be flowing very nicely. You may receive a lot of support from the people that you work with. On the fifth, you have a full moon in your first house. So you may be changing up your entire personality. Your reputation may be changing. You'll be gaining a lot of attention. So you'll be the main character around this time. You may have a huge boost in your reputation. Also, you may be drastically changing your appearance. You are going to have the largest transformation of all of the signs. So your goals are going to rapidly change or you may find yourself rapidly working towards your goals and making them happen. You'll be letting go of a lot of things that may be holding you back in your life. During the first half of the month, you may also find yourself letting go of a relationship or making major changes in your relationship. This doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, it could be anyone. From the 11th to the 12th, you'll have positive opportunities to grow your romantic relationships and to establish a deeper bond or to even meet someone new in your romantic life. But during the middle of the month, you'll find that your love life will be flowing very nicely. You'll be establishing very deep connections with people. Your romantic relationships are likely going to get a lot more serious if you're with the right person. 
During the middle of the month, you may have amazing opportunities around educational plans or even travel. So you may be planning a new trip or education should be flowing very nicely. Your educational plans should be working very nicely. On the 19th, you have a solar eclipse in your seventh house of committed relationships. So this will be a very beautiful time for your love life. You'll find that middle of the month to the end of the month, your love life is going to flourish and your committed relationships, again, will be getting a lot more serious as the month progresses. You may have a lot to look forward to in your love life and things may be very exciting in your love life. During the second half of the month, you may be hustling to secure your finances, so you may be making major long-term financial decisions. There may be some tension in your finances, but you'll definitely figure them out by the start of the new month. Scorpio Risings, there's going to be a lot happening around your mental and physical health. Also, you're going to have huge beginnings in your finances. The first week of April, you are going to put a lot of effort into overcoming something that may have bothered you in the past or overcoming some sort of work challenge. And by the end of the first week in April, you will get something out of the way. You'll also be placing a huge emphasis on your education if you're in school or travel. So you may find yourself rigorously planning something, planning some sort of trip, or you may find that you're getting a lot of your studies out of the way. On the fifth, you have a full moon in your 12th house of mental health. So you'll find yourself really overcoming mental health challenges. You may find that there's some anxiety or stress being brought up around this time, but you are going to manage it and get over it. So you'll finally be getting rid of a lot of stress and anxiety that has been holding you back over the past couple of months. You may also find that you're improving and healing your physical health. During the middle of the month, you'll find that your relationship with your coworkers or your bosses are going to move very nicely. So you should have harmonious working relations. And you'll also find that you are continuously looking after your physical health and making major improvements to your health. During the second half of the month, you'll have beautiful things happening with your finances. So you may find that you are settling debts, you are finally paying things off, or you are figuring things out in your joint income, joint assets with your investments. So you'll be figuring a lot of financial shit out and getting a lot of financial issues out of the way. On the 19th, you'll have a solar eclipse in your sixth house. So you'll find that again, you are having major new improvements in your health routines and your diet exercise and the way in which you conduct yourself physically. And you'll also find that your relationships with co-workers will flow very nicely you may also have opportunities for expansion in your career so things at work should be flowing very nicely or you'll find yourself gaining a lot of recognition being very happy at work you may have major new beginnings in your career as well around this time during the second half of the month there may be some tension with your family members or even with a romantic partner or perhaps your family doesn't necessarily get along with your romantic partner so you'll have to ease up those tensions during the second half of the month you may have to have very serious conversations surrounding your romantic relationships and you may have to sort things out with a romantic partner but by the end of the month you'll have figured things out with them so you may finally resolve any issues that you've been having with a romantic partner by the end of the month Sagittarius Risings, you are going to have an amazing breakthrough in your romantic relationships. Things will be flowing effortlessly, nicely, and beautifully in your love life, and your creative projects should also flow very nicely as well. During the first week of April, you are going to be grinding and hustling and getting a lot of work and shit out of the way. During the first half of the month, you'll find that your family relationships will be flowing very nicely. However, there may be some financial problems that you have to overcome, some financial complications, but you will get them sorted out by the end of the month. On the fifth, we have a full moon in your 11th house of friendship. So you may find that there's a major change when it comes to your social groups or your friends. You may be even letting go of a friend who no longer serves any purpose in your life. During the middle of the month, you'll have a lot of positive growth and expansion in your dating life, as well as in your creative projects. A romantic relationship that you have may grow a lot. It may deepen. You may deepen the commitment that you have with that person and creative projects should be flowing very nicely as you'll have a lot of creative energy. So things may be getting more serious with a romantic interest or at least you'll find that communication with your romantic interest will be flowing very nicely and the two of you will have excellent conversations. You'll be getting along. During the middle of the month, you'll also be extremely productive and you'll be getting a lot of work out of the way and you'll be improving your daily routine. On the 19th, there's a solar eclipse in your fifth house of dating and creating Creative projects so you may launch a brand new creative project which will be successful over the next six months or you may find that you have brand new beginnings in your romantic life around this time which will be very exciting and beautiful and which will lead to a beautiful love life over the next six months maybe forming a deeper emotional spiritual and physical bond with your romantic partner during the second half of the month you may find that there's some tension when it comes to dealing with your physical health so you may find yourself having to put more effort into looking after your health you may also find yourself hustling a lot more in your career in order to find career success. Capricorn Risings, you are going to have significant growth and improvement in your mental and physical health, and you'll find that home and family matters will be flowing very nicely. 
During the first week of April, you may find that you are putting a lot of work into a written project that you may have either at work or in school, for example, and you'll be getting that out of the way by the end of the week. So you'll be very productive when it comes to your written responsibilities. Also, you may be putting a lot of effort into your romantic relationships during the first week of April and smoothing things out if there have been any complications and overcoming problems that may be present in your romantic relationship. On the fifth, you have a full moon in your 10th house. So there may be some sort of ending in your career. So this doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to leave a job, but this means that you may get some sort of work project done and out of the way, or you may be having a major transformation in your career. During the middle of the month, you may be making major improvements to your home. So you may be buying furniture, for example, or you may be cleaning your house and making your home living environment a lot more beautiful. And you may find that your relationship with your family members will flow very nicely. You'll be able to overcome any complications you may have had previously with family members. You should also be getting along very well with the people that you live with if you do have any roommates. From the 11th to the end of the month, things should be flowing beautifully in your career. So you'll be getting along very well with your coworkers, bosses, the people that you work with. There may be opportunities for growth and expansion in your career as well and you'll be really improving your physical health so you may be making major improvements to your diet exercise or overall health regime during the middle of the month you'll also be improving your overall routines and you'll be getting a lot of work out of the way so you're going to be extremely productive this month on the 19th you have a solar eclipse in your fourth house so you may find that you'll have opportunities to make more money so your finances should be flowing very well or you may find that this is finally the time for you to move and relocate so from now until the next six months you may find that it is time for you to relocate or to make major changes to your home living situation and again your relationship with your family members will also run very nicely around the 19th near the end of the month you'll be settling your finances and figuring out ways to improve your financial situation Aquarius rising during the first week of April you are really going to be hustling in your career you're also going to be working on improving the relationships that you have with people in the workplace and you are really going to be working hard towards improving your health by improving your diet your exercise regime you'll be getting a lot of stuff out of the way at work you'll be very productive in your career and also your finances are going to be growing because you're going to be actively working on securing the bag and building up your finances on the fifth you have a full moon in your ninth house of education and travel so you may be ending a trip or you may be ending something in your education so perhaps you're ending something at school you're finishing up a work project or you're finishing up an educational plan but if you're not traveling or you're not in school this wouldn't really apply to you you're also going to be extremely productive this entire month and you'll be improving your overall day-to-day -day routine from the middle to the end of the month you'll find that your creative projects will be flowing very nicely you may have a new burst of creative energy and your dating life should be very exciting and entertaining as well so you may have opportunities to meet someone new in your dating life or you you may be able to establish a deeper connection with a romantic interest. Your dating life and your creative projects will be picking up traction. Also, you'll find yourself having a lot more fun middle of the month to the end of the month than perhaps you've had during the beginning of the year. On the 19th, you have a solar eclipse in your third house of writing and communication. So you may find yourself networking with new people, building new acquaintances, new social bonds. So your social life should be flowing effortlessly and easily. You'll also find that you may partake in a new creative project or you may take on a new written project and your written work should be flowing very nicely as well. If you have a written project middle of the month, you should find that it'll end up being very successful. At the end of the month, you may find that there are some issues involving your family. So you may have to work on mending your family relationships but your romantic life will still be flowing very nicely near the end of the month so throughout the entire month you'll find that you have very good luck in your love life and you'll have more opportunities to partake in recreational activities to perhaps go out with your friends so this should be a very exciting month overall filled with a lot more fun than you may have had previously Pisces risings there's going to be a huge focus on your financial life and your finances are going to transform in a positive direction in the first week of April you may find yourself putting a lot of effort into resolving any problems you may have in your love life and by the end of the first week of April, you'll find that your love life will be flowing a lot more nicely because you'll have worked on any challenges that may be present in your love life. You may be putting a lot of effort into resolving any issues that are present in your love life. Also, you may find yourself grinding when it comes to your creative projects. If you have children, you may find that they're a bit difficult to deal with during the first week of April. On the fifth, there's a full moon in your eighth house of finances and investments. So you may find that you are finally closing a financial deal. You may find that you're having a huge return on an investment finally coming your way. You may find that you're finally handling or settling debts, but there's going to be some sort of ending or closure in a financial chapter. For example, you may be paying off a huge debt such as student loans. However, whatever happens in your finances around this time is going to lead to a very nice financial outcome later down the month. 
during the middle of the month, you are going to have an enormous boost in your finances. So you'll find that a lot of wealth is coming your way. This is going to be one of the best times out of the entire year for you to secure the bag. So you may be hustling when it comes to your finances, but wealth should be flowing effortlessly and easily to you. So you may be saving a lot of money during this time. You may find that a lot of money is coming to you. You find a new stream of income. You get a boost in your job, which results in a higher income. You may get a bonus. From the 11th to the end of the month, we'll have Venus in Gemini, which means that during that time, you'll be getting along very well with your family. Your home life should be flowing very nicely. You may make beautiful renovations to your home because it's happening in your fourth house of family and home. On the 19th, you're going to have a solar eclipse in your second house of finances. So this is going to be the time where you will have the most massive growth in your finances. You may start a new financial chapter, which will lead to huge financial success over the next six months. You'll likely find yourself really hustling when it comes to securing your finances. However, this is going to be one of the most beautiful times out of the entire year for you to build financial wealth. And again, this financial wealth will be growing exponentially as the months progress. During the second half of the month, you may find that there are some complications when it comes to the work that you've done or your written work and you may find that you have to revise some things. So revisions may have to be made when it comes to writing or content that you've produced.